Hello, hello, how's everyone doing? It's the lady killer himself. So, my topic of discussion today is something that I've always kind of wondered about, but was never really sure, because this character was never really expanded upon too much, and not no, and not much is really known about him, and this character is my man, Tian Shen Han. Now, I've always wondered throughout the series how strong Tien actually is because we don't know really how strong Tien is. I mean, Tien really in Dragon Ball was pretty strong. I mean, he was one of the he was like one of the top 3 characters that was up there. Plus, he's still one of the only characters to really ever beat Goku. Uh also, when Dragon Ball Z rolled around, we see that he has a power level you know, that's not necessarily high because, you know, no one's power level at that time was high. Uh, and he also fought Nappa and Nappa wound up disarming him and he wound up dying. Then we do not see Tien in action again until the Cell Saga, you know. And when that saga came along, you know, it was definitely a, a pretty crazy saga. And uh, when we see Tien... What he's doing in that saga of of you know the, of the Cell Saga, Android Saga, etc., is that uh, he was with Goku and Piccolo when Yamcha got uh, his chest pierced um, by Doctor Dro, you know, uh, and that he came back more muscular than he was in Dragon Ball or when he was fighting Nappa, and then we don't really see him in action until he's trying to hold off second for himself now i know a lot of people will say oh you know tian wasn't that powerful you know just because he held back cell uh he really didn't do damage to cell well in tian's defense at that point in the cell saga the purpose wasn't to kill cell the purpose was to hold him off and tian risked his life to make sure that he stopped Cell while Goku was in a supposedly weak state. Gohan was weak and Vegeta and Trunks were training. But if we take a look strictly at Tien using the Tri-Beam. Now, the Tri-Beam itself is probably stronger than the user. But in order for the user to use the attack, it has to be pretty strong itself. You know, because... He just can't use the technique and be weak and hold off second form Cell. So that would leave me that Cell is obviously stronger than Tien. But Tien's technique might be strong enough to hold off Cell. But Tien himself might not be that strong to hold off Cell. But... Then we see, uh, fast forward to the Majin Buu saga, and we see Gohan fighting Super Buu with Gotenks absorbed, and uh, Gohan is about to get blasted, and Tien comes out of nowhere again and shoots the Tri-Beam. Now, this is another example. Tien can't be that weak if he's reflecting a blast from Super Buu with Gotenks absorbed, because you have to be pretty strong in order to reflect an attack, you know? So, that would mean that Tien is, he's not necessarily up there with Goku, Vegeta, or Gohan, but he's somewhere kind of in the low tier, but high tier in a way, because if you look at it, you know, Tien, even though he only makes appearances, Tien can actually legit fight, you know, I mean, people have been downplaying Tien for a while, but Tien can actually fight. People forget that in Dragon Ball, Tien had two phenomenal matches with Goku, you know, and Tien hasn't physically fought since then. But the thing about Tien is that he's always training constantly, constantly, constantly. You know, and I'm surprised that Tien is not Super Saiyan level. But I would say if I had to make a choice on Tien's strength level, I would say that Tien is almost near super saiyan level but not necessarily a super saiyan because since humans can't go super saiyan and i know tn is of the triclops uh i know that tn necessarily can't go super saiyan so it's hard to compare him to a super saiyan since he can never achieve it but i would say that tn definitely could handle maybe gohan 
how he is now in his base form. And I know that that's a huge stretch, but I would say that Tien can probably take Gohan for maybe a couple of minutes. You know, whether it be maybe five minutes or maybe ten minutes. If he can take Trunks at the Bojack Saga for at least a couple, for at least maybe two, three, four, five minutes, and Gohan, you know, who hasn't really done anything and his and his power has diminished, I'm sure that Tien can definitely take him. And I know that some people will say, oh, if Tien can take Gohan, then that means that Tien is probably Super Saiyan level. Who knows? We don't know because we don't know how strong Tien actually is. And I'm also going to go out on a limb here and say that Tien can possibly, possibly also be Piccolo. And I love Piccolo too, you know, but I don't know because Piccolo might have the advantage of his healing, you know, but I think that Tien's power level, I would say, and Tien's skills. You know, uh, would also make him a threat. You know, I mean, Tien can hit Piccolo with some solar flares and everything. But I would say Tien's strength level, uh, if I had to go in order of main characters, I would say it would have to be Goku, then Vegeta, then, uh, then Piccolo, then Gohan, and then I guess maybe the kids... Uh, Goten and Trunks, and then maybe after Goten and Trunks, since Videl is definitely not on there, um, I would guess maybe Tien is somewhere in that margin. So let me know what you think.